y'all, it's Reagan. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hit that red button down below and subscribe. Join the family. I post new videos twice a week, so you should stick around for that. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me for Halloween, for a Halloween party that I have tonight. I am getting ready for it anyway, so I thought we should sit down and I'll share it with you. So for Halloween this year, I am being Lilo and Stitch because I have a stuffed Stitch, but it was kind of a last minute idea. Didn't really know I was going to be dressing up for Halloween until like a few days ago when I like ordered all this stuff on Amazon. It came in today. And so I was like, well, if it doesn't work, then sucks. Well, it worked. I think it's going to be really cute. So let's go ahead and get ready because I'm running late. I'm probably not going to. Wow, this is cute. So I'm probably not going to be talking a whole lot in this video because... I am running late and so we're gonna kind of talk a little bit and then I'm gonna like fast forward to the rest. Going in with primer, this is the Smashbox pore minimizing primer because I got big pores. Mm, this stuff makes my skin feel so soft and smooth. For foundation, since I'm so dark because I self tanned last night, I'm going in with the only dark foundation I have which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is in the shade 3W2 Cashew kind of rhymed. Get my little mirror. I'm really nervous about having to wear my costume out in public. I mean, I'm sure there are people doing it, but I'm not taking the subway. I'm going to just get a car like a lift because I just don't know if I'm brave enough to walk out in New York City in 60 degrees weather in a grass skirt, you know? I just don't, I just don't think I'm, I'm ready for that yet. I honestly probably shouldn't even be going to this party tonight because I have a presentation, a speech presentation, first thing in the morning at 9 a.m. and uh, we're not allowed to have notes and I don't know what the heck I am going to say. So I'm probably going to either be up late tonight after the party or wake up early in the morning and do it. Neither of those options sound very appealing. Also, I'm not a big party girl and I feel like I'm probably going to feel awkward here and I'm going to probably want to leave. I'm making my friend Sydney go with me. And she's not really a party girl either, so we'll probably end up deucing out kind of early. I'm just going to get the cute pic and the video footage because I'm filming a week in my life this week. And so I might add a little bit of footage in this video, but it'll probably, all the Halloween footage will be in my vlog. That'll be coming a few days after this one, so subscribe, stick around so you can see that one. I look weird. I hate the way I look when all I have is foundation on. It bothers me. Concealer. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Like, you know the deal. This stuff is amazing. Blend this bad boy in. I'm going for a very, like, gold bronze look, I think. Because I don't really know. Like, Lilo didn't wear makeup in Lilo and Stitch. So, like... I don't know. So I'm just going to go like really goldy bronze. I think I'm going to do like a really pink lip. Wait, maybe I shouldn't do a pink lip because I'm wearing... Okay, well, I brought out a pink lip. I guess I'll have to switch that. Yo, I'm so ready for school to be over. I feel like I've really hit that point in the semester where I am just dead. Like I have no motivation to do anything whatsoever, which is really bad. It's really bad when you get in that stage because... This is usually the time in the semester where I have a ton of stuff to do. And I have no mo motivation to do any of it. Powder. I'm using the Peach Too Faced Powder. It smells really good. Almost too good. If that makes any sense. It's a little strong. This isn't my favorite powder. But I bought it so I use it. It makes my face look very airbrushed but I don't think it keeps me, mat me matte. And says my foundation very good, but it like really does make me look flawless. So it's like a love hate relationship with it. It looks cool. That's cute. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I love this sucker right here, but I go through it so quick. Gosh, like they do not put a lot of product in this. Wow, 
Wow, my brows look intense. I like it that way though. Little trick that I always do going in with an EOS lip balm to set my brows. Mom, why are you calling me right now? I'm trying to film a video. Hello? Let's brush this powder off. Time for bronzer, my favorite thing. Using the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Golden Light. Even though when I self tan, like the first day or two after I self tan, this doesn't really show up on me. Cause I have it more for when I'm lighter. But we're gonna build this sucker up and it's gonna show up. I can see it. Okay, good. Let's do the nose. If you put powder under your bottom lip, it makes it look bigger and poutier. I just love bronzer. Like my face looks so much better now, if I say so myself. I hate when makeup products don't have mirrors in it when I'm trying to do a video. Like, I can't look at myself like this. <sighs> First world problems. Oh, this is the Milani fake bronzer. It's like my favorite bronzer. Also, make sure you subscribe down below because I'm gonna be doing an awesome giveaway once I hit 500 subscribers. And I'm gonna be giving away a basket full of my favorite products from Ulta. And so, you're gonna definitely wanna be on that because it's not like I have a ton of subscribers, so you have a good chance. That was like a diss to myself, but I don't even care. Am I looking like a bronze goddess yet? Blush. I am gonna go for this really corally blush. I think it's gonna look pretty with like my tan skin. We'll see, I may hate it. I don't wear this one often. It's kind of a, a trendy one. Oh, I think it's really cute. Ooh, okay. If you're wondering, this is the MAC blush in the color Modern Mandarin. I just freaking love blush. So. It's freaking bat. I love Halloween. For highlighter, like I told you, we're going gold. And so I'm going to be using this Becca highlighter in the color Prosecco Pop. It's like a really pretty gold, but it's cracked because I dropped it in my toilet. Delicious. We're going to spray my butt brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus because we want this highlighter to be intense. Ooh, that looks good. Mama like that. Do I look like a bronze goddess? Do I look like Lila? Probably not because I'm like Scottish, not Hawaiian. Let's go ahead into eyeshadow. I am going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette, which I recently got, and I'm really liking it. I The colors are beautiful. Like, look at these bad boys. They are stunning. Once you start playing with the browns and stuff, they get really cool toned. But for this look, I'm mainly just going to be putting gold, the gold shadow all over my eyes. This gold shade right here. Yep, we're just gonna work this all over. Spraying some Mac Fix Plus, cause we want it to be intense. Dip into that. That does not look gold on my eyelid. Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to go on my finger just to kind of like intensify it. It's really pretty. I think I'm going to actually go in with a little bit of this color right here and kind of brighten just like the very inner part of it. Okay, now on to the next eye. 
haven't decided if I want to do fake lashes yet. I kind of don't. I I kind of just don't want to put in that effort. But I mean, they just make an eyeshadow look look so much better. Going with my finger. And then the the lighter shade. Now we're really gonna smoke out the bottom lash line. Let's see, I'm gonna go in with this little brush right here. I'm gonna use this dark brown. Take a pencil brush and I'm just gonna mix. I'm just gonna mix these three browns together. And I'm gonna take that brush that had the gold on it. I'm gonna bring that gold in the inner part of the eye. Now we're going to do the same thing on the top lash. Take that brown. I think I'm gonna wing it out a little bit just cause I'm feeling kind of into that today, but I'm gonna do like a big wing. I don't even know if this is what Lilo looks like, but this is what I'm doing. So this is one eye. Let's go do the other one. I'm gonna add a little bit more blush because I feel like it's already fading. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and do my mascara. I think I'm not gonna do fake lashes because I did the big wing. I think it still makes like a statement. Oh, before I put on mascara, actually, I'm going to go in with this little nude color right here, and I'm just going to clean up my eyeshadow. I'm putting put it on my brow bone. I'm going to put a little bit in the cree in the corner. Clean it up up here. Now for mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I've been trying it out lately and I'm liking it. Don't know if I love it, so. Well, that just made these lashes on the side really clumpy, but we're gonna go with it. I really don't know what lip color I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, but right now I'm applying this Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. It makes my lips feel so good. And I'm going to apply some Mac Fix Plus to set my makeup. I was gonna go for pink, but I forgot that my top is bright candy red because that's what Lilo wears. So I'm not gonna do my lips quite yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair. I'm really gonna try to do the whole beachy waves look. We'll see how that works. I kind of have an idea of how I'm gonna do it. Let me show you my cute little stitch while we're waiting for my curling iron to heat up. He is so cute, he's little. A lot littler, littler than I was expecting, but he's still cute. Also, I came up with this idea like last week when I found out about the Halloween party and then some girl that I don't really know but I kind of know from home did Lilo and Stitch this weekend and I was like I thought I was being creative and then I'm gonna hold like the bottom piece off so it's just kind of like waves Yeah, I think that looks like more of a wave than a curl. So I'm back. This is what the hair looks like before I brush it out. It's definitely different than like a normal curl I do. I try to make it, you know, more wavy, beachy, and like a little more like imperfect. So once I brush it out, I think it'll look good. 
I'm gonna go hairspray it real quick and then I'll be back and I'll do lips. Okay, so I have two options. I have a really pretty pink color and it's like really glossy. And so I may just go for that. Cause you know, it still looks like natural. I think it'll still go with a red top. Or I have this really like creamy orangey color, kind of like the blush and it's a lot more sheer, but like glossy. So I may try this one and if I don't like it, then I'll go over with this one. So. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the pink just to kind of brighten it up because I feel like it's getting a little lost on me, but I'm not gonna do a ton. Yeah, I like that. So the two lip colors I just used were Max Shanghai and the Bare Minerals XOX, which this one is an amazing lipstick if you're in the market for like a good, like naturally mauve pink color. Okay, so we're gonna brush out my curls. Hopefully they'll fall some because I want them to look a little more, a little more natural, but I think they look good. Now to change out of this hobo looking outfit into my Halloween costume. So the fun part. So this is my outfit right now. Sweatpants and a t-shirt. So let's change into my outfit. So I know you can't see my outfit very well, but I will insert a full body pic so you can see. But I think it, the outfit turned out really cute. I'm so excited. So I am about to head to the party. I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe so you can enter that giveaway that's coming up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.